Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I flew all the way from Accra, Ghana to Tanzania, Tinga Tinga, which is a very small village full of Maasai people, Maasai land basically, to visit a lodge called Tembo Lodge, which translates in meaning the Elephant Lodge. The beauty here is mind-blowing. I have the view of Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the tallest mountain in the whole of East Africa. Now, the adventure awaits me is just on another level. So, let's dive into it. As soon as I arrived at the lodge, I was picked up by Anita. Hi, my name is Anita. I'm from Norway. And Boniface, who is a Maasai guy. Hi, I'm Boniface. I'm Tanzanian. They picked me up in a very beautiful uh, van, a safari track, and then we went straight to the lodge. As soon as I got to the lodge, I was received warmly by a very beautiful dance performed by the Maasai people. And listen, it was so beautiful. Hello. 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 Wow. So Welcome. We're... Thank you. Thank yeah. you. As you see us, uh, we are Maasai. Mm -hmm. We live in nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> if someone visiting us mm -hmm. in our lodge, mm -hmm. We really respecting the people, the visitors, mm. and we slaughter goat mm -hmm. or cow mm -hmm. in order to give you permission to go in. Okay, also so to just be to part, be able to part of yes, the, okay. to be part of mm -hmm. the Maasai land. Mm -hmm. okay. So before you go in, we have to give you a little bit of blood, <laughs> okay. yeah, to become a part of Maasai. Okay. Also to allow you to go in. Okay. So really, it's blood. No blood, no so, going. No, yeah. If no blood, the car is still there, waiting you. So before you go in, really you have to drink it. Thank you. So this is the blood. Okay. Wow. Yeah. But that's a lot. Yes. Okay. Please, guys. Welcome. So I have to close my nose, right? Yeah. Close your nose. Just in order, if you when okay. you're smelling, so it's not. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Out. Okay. All right. Let's do it. I'm going to put everything in my mouth. Yes, like yeah, everything. Please. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Long life. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> How's blood? It's good. This is not blood. <laughs> <laughs> this is really hibiscus. Hibiscus. Tea. Ah. Yeah, we mix with the water and we boil. Oh, wow, and that's we put nice. honey a little, then we put, then we put in the fridge. This is really nice. Yes, can I get more? Uh, <laughs> wow, this, yes. thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. Wow. Yeah, Hello, everybody. Hey, 
We must say, men they can allow you. Men they can allow to have a long hair, but the women not. Women not allowed. So the same hair is like this. You see, they have to look like. Yeah, that one is very Yeah, you shiny. see. Yeah, <laughs> this is just it's new. Just it just came from the <laughs> saloon, the barber, shop. <laughs> the barber shop. We have our barber shop. We are using the small blade. Yeah, blade. Wow. So to remove it. But in our culture, since we are, since I'm born, mm -hmm. this was our parents mm -hmm. born. We say uh, you have to remove it because when they have a long hair, mm -hmm. we say they look like a man. Oh. So they have to be they are, they, That's they are, quite the opposite. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you see, so now she's just come from the Baba side. <laughs> just yeah. themselves. They do themselves at home. Yeah. Yes. Then also she going also to remove soon. So you see some. Yeah. But they remove soon. Wow. Yeah. So women not allowed. But women, men, they are allowed to have a long hair. But we use this many times when, when in the ceremony time, wow. the bride, when, they, when we have a wedding, wow. if the one she was going to get married, when you're going to get married, yeah. we say you can't allow to see, see the bride, just the like face. The way, oh my God. Yes. Count. So this is how the women really wear. Okay. Yes. Okay. And can, this, they, can they tell me their names? Their names? Namunak. Namunak. Yeah, okay. Naiho. Say that again. Naiho. 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 I really like your hair. I'm the man I've been Nemburis. Hey, Nemburis. No cigar. No cigar. No domon. No domon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No get him good. No get him good. No get him good. No get They quickly, right after the welcoming song, Walk me to my lodge where I'll, I'll be sleeping, which is very beautiful and cozy, as you can see on your screens. Good morning. I just woke up here at the Maasai land at this beautiful lodge. And listen, my bedroom is just so cozy, so cool, so calm. And man, it's just, it's beautiful. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Wow, this is beautiful. So guys, this is the breakfast here. Yeah right in front of the Mount Kilimanjaro, guys. This is what we're gonna have for breakfast. Here we have uh, fruits, different fruits, and also we have a uh, pumpkin coffee, and also black tea. Here you can see we have pancakes. Enjoy the breakfast. I'm having my breakfast here. The goats are also having their breakfast right there. <laughs> this is nature, guys. It's beautiful. This is a list of activities I did whilst enjoying my stay at the Timber Lodge. First, we went for nature walk. Basically, walking on our foot together with Boniface, who is our tour guide. You know, in nature and basically giving us history about Maasai people, how they use some certain kind of herbs to cure themselves why they are going they are taking their animals uh to eat and stuff like that it was a beautiful experience i'm going with the maasai to take the goats and the sheep for walk so they're going to teach me how to do that so this is maasai land timber lodge we are in the middle of three mountains that's mount kilimanjaro and that's mount Meru. yeah that's mount Meru, longido mountain this direction it's amboseli Kenya and Tanzania. It's iron. Iron. Yeah, this is iron. You can use the aluminium for lion. Yes, yeah. More this is iron. iron. Very strong. Yeah. And you know, Maasai, we are not hunting. Yeah. We're hunting during the lion attack the cow predators only. Only. If just you know, to defend that. Yeah, defend. Or if we, if the lion run away, we just leave. Okay. Yeah. In our culture, Maasai, if you know cow, no lion. Yes. Cow is everything. If you drink one liter of the blood. Mm -hmm. You feel more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Guys, should I drink one liter? <laughs> Today we are going to Mount Meru. Okay. This is the, uh, an umbrella thorn acacia. Yeah, you see how it looks like? Mm -hmm. Like an umbrella. Yes. We believe when we sit in, under the tree mm -hmm. and the shadow, when you have our discussion family, mm -hmm. it's going well. Okay. Yes. Uh, we're coming to cut the back of this tree mm -hmm. and we get some roots. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have so different herbs. 
and we boil together to make a soup. Masai, we are not waiting until you sick, you go, to maybe you find some medicine. And, and also, in, in a bush like here, mm -hmm. where did you get the hospital? No. Right. Okay. No hospital. Yeah. So we learned to use uh, herbs. Herbs. Okay. Yes. Herbs is help you very much. That's why not many Masai they get sick. Yeah, this is very strong. This is That's from like the motorcycle. Tire. No, motorbike, motor border, border. Oh. This I can use for five years. Five? Five years. Five years? Yes. Guys, should I just throw away this one? Yeah, you see. Way? You are mine. <laughs> Look, yeah. this is more comfortable. The women, when they start to build the house, they come with the Maasai donkey uh -huh. with some bags uh -huh. and carrying take home. Or uh -huh. they can use uh, up to the head. Uh -huh. They can carry it. When they go to build the house, so they find fresh cow shit uh -huh. mixed with the water, uh -huh. with the, this termite mount, uh -huh. with the, uh, then they mix by hand, uh -huh. then they do plastering. Uh -huh. The house is covered like a cement. This tree, which is called Balanite Ajeptica. Balanite Ajeptica, yeah. This is the one tree in our Maasai area, so we use the bark for the soup. Soup, okay. Yeah, we cut. This is all, we just mixing. Maasai, we just make a mix. Mm. If you have a chest problem, mm -hmm. you can also boil and drink. Okay. Yes. You see the flower starting? Yeah. This? Yeah. This flower, to us, we believe soon we're going to get rain. Rain, okay. Yeah. When we see those trees, some flowers starting, we say, oh, mm -hmm. the rain is not far. Okay. It's very close. During dry season, mm -hmm. elephants come and chew. There is a lot of water. Mm. So they help. So it was this and they chew it into this? Yes, yeah. Just to get the water out Yeah, to get the water, then get out the mix, yeah. Uh, you have a hood, mm -hmm. or you just getting uh, something like a hood, maybe rushes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Masai, what we do, we come here, mm -hmm. and we find this Africa Comfora. Mm -hmm. Then we do like this, look, there's something come out. You see, like yeah. now, Anita? Okay. If you have this, so you get this liquid, mm -hmm. this is very good. This is very good for you. If someone is hurt. Yeah, if I'm some hurt, it's hurt, so you use this. If there is a bacteria or something, maybe so now it's really out and it's, it's covered very soon. During the rain season, mm -hmm. we mix by water a little, then you use like a, a lotion. Body lotion? Yeah, body lotion. Really? Yes, yeah, so you get it and mix together, just use like a body lotion during the rain season. Oh, wow. It's just like uh, butter, like. That's like a poo butter, guys. <laughs> so that will happen to my hand. <laughs> this is amazing. How? This is my side tissue brush. When you see my teeth so white, yeah. because of this. Ooh. When you chew, there is a taste like a salt. If you have a bacteria around your teeth, it's killing. So also we say it's like a tooth, toothpaste. Toothpaste. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay. We really have a similar culture, guys. We have the same thing in my country, Ghana. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, this is me brushing my teeth the Maasai way. After I use this, my teeth is going to be very white. Yeah, very much. Very, very much. I'm really having a good time here learning how to use this to brush my teeth. Right in front of mountain Kilimanjaro. This is an amazing experience, it's so peaceful. I could hear someone speak from a mile away. That's how quiet it is here. Very, very peaceful. So this is the elephant poop. Okay. For three weeks. Three weeks. Yes, there's passing here. Yeah, this is Maasai football. For those young boys, when he, they are just stay in the bush mm -hmm. and they got uh, eating around there, they have and, fun with this. One. Yes, then we see this. Say, okay, come, come, let's play. First of all, we start like this in order to see if you are a good player. Mm -hmm. Oh, see? yeah, you are if definitely you, a good player. Yeah, if you I cannot do player. that. Oh, yeah. that was three. <laughs> and sometimes really we. You see? Oh. see? See? Wow. See? See? Wow. See? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, that's yes. amazing. Yes. Wow. And also it uh it's uh medicine. Mm -hmm. 
it's so, medicine. Yeah, it's medicine also if you have a flu, if you have a headache, you can burn and smoke. Inhale it. Yeah. Smoke it. Smoke it. <sighs> if you have something, you feel, <laughs> but you feel coughing so much. Coughing? Yes, <laughs> okay. very much. Okay, then also, after a few minutes, you feel better. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Impressive. It doesn't feel like a poo. Doesn't feel like a poo? Yeah. Yeah, because it's dry. Yeah, because it's dry. If it's not dry, oh, it smells very bad. Hey, Jesus Christ. Very, very bad. Does the elephant knows we are doing this with this poop? <laughs> <laughs> Ephobia candelabra. Ephobia candelabra. Yeah, this is candelabra. Mm -hmm. And really, this is the poison tree. It's good for also when the woman build the house. It's good for building the house. There are the material for building the house also here. For the roofing, mm. we mean in a roof. Okay. See? Mm -hmm. oh. See the poison? Yeah. So that's poison? Yeah, this poison. Yeah, so. So you just do like this. Then you get it. Mm -hmm. Then I will just like this. I will really want mm -hmm. to make a tattoo. So if you put it mm -hmm. a little, mm -hmm. then really you feel. See. Very hot. It burns your skin. Yeah, it's burned very much. I, see. I was going two months like this without Painful. clothes. Yeah, pain. So wow. when you walk to walk, just away like this. Because the clothes don't want to touch it. Mm -hmm. So I was walking like this. Wow. <laughs> so it's very, very dangerous. Interesting. Yeah. Just after a nature walk, it's very windy. I get sleep here. There's shades here. Relax. Wow, that's really amazing. That's nice. What is this? Blood. Blood? That's not blood. <laughs> Just dry. Oh, oh, at the Maasai Temple Lodge, you did have a blood. <laughs> no, that's not blood. <laughs> So the second thing I did was spear throwing, guys, with the Maasai people. We are going to show you how we use the spear mm -hmm. to kill the lion when the lion attack the cow. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see how the Maasai, they target, they know how to target. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And guys, I'm going to be part of this. I don't know, I have a feeling that I'm the one who is going to lose. I've never killed a lion. Each and every single one of the guys have at least killed a lion, according to what they told me. And uh, I've never thrown a spear before. <laughs> so let's find out how well I'll do. Yeah, let's do it. You see all these Maasai guys, very strong guys, I'm not going to joke. They do this every day, throwing spears uh, in case there's a lion to protect their sheep and goats and stuff like that. And I was meant to go for a contest, a spearing contest. Look at the warriors. Wow. Hello? Are you ready? Yeah. Then guys, ah, it wasn't easy. <laughs> so the next thing on the list is we had to kill a goat. If you want to have this experience, you would have to pay extra uh, cost for this. For the spear touring, it comes with a package. You don't have to pay anything. For the nature walk, it comes with a package. But, you know, I want to get more experience, so I had to go for the goat. It's about to get very graphic, so if you are very sensitive, <laughs> this is the point you turn it off, okay? <laughs> wow. So they um, they have two ways of doing it. By their culture, they suffocate the goat until it's no more alive, and then they kind of put a knife in its chest, and then the process continues. So yeah, I'm just witnessing what I'm right now. And then we have a lot of Maasai guys standing here. 
watching the show. So they kill the goat and then we have to do a bonfire. So basically sitting around the fire and having a conversation, which is called the MTV, which is the Maasai television. This is now MTV, <laughs> Maasai television. And now as you see us, mm -hmm. man, uh, we, are, we are really smiling so much. Oh, I would, I would because the meat, mm -hmm. uh, you know Maasai, we like meat so much. Yeah. yeah. So during this, it was a beautiful experience. You know, normally they don't allow women to come around the fire, but I guess Anita is an exception. So together with Anita, we had a very beautiful conversation around the fire till midnight. We we can literally see the stars while sitting around the fire. More hubs? You see? Yeah. You see more hubs? Yeah. yeah. You see this? Mm -hmm. Also this, look. Yeah. This is more hubs. Yeah. Yeah. So when we see we are jumping very high <laughs> because of this. Wow. First of all, did you see any girls around here? No. The women, yeah. yeah. In our culture, mm -hmm. we are not share the meat with the women sitting around. Oh. Yeah. Every Why? part is going by the groups. Mm -hmm. So here the leg, front leg for the goat, we give the women they can eat. Mm -hmm. So they are sitting far from us now. Mm -hmm. They are around, but they have to be a little bit far. Okay. So us, like a Maasai, women, they eat themselves with the kids, mm -hmm. and men, we eat ourselves. Mm. Outside to the house, not inside to the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The liver. Mm -hmm. Do you see the liver here? 
Yeah. Yeah. In our culture, if the young warriors, those they slaughter the the the, the goat mm -hmm. and uh, the liver, they eat the liver we sold us because the liver is belong to the elders. Oh. So if those young guy, young boys they eat, mm -hmm. we're gonna punish them. But what is it about the liver that makes it for only the leaders? Is it some? Yeah, because uh, you know when our father, you know they retire, mm -hmm. and they are really now they are really we say the teeth are not strong. Mm -hmm. and you know the liver is very soft. Mm -hmm. When they chew, it's very fast for them to eat. Mm -hmm. So that's why we say this for the elders. elders okay, yes. that makes sense. Yeah. Why a, a little rock around the fire though? Stone? Yeah. This around? Yeah. Yeah, we, we just tried to put it because uh, of the... We don't want the... the when, the when the fire is bigger, we don't want really everywhere to be fire. Mm. We're just protecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. So we are all no, waiting no, patiently no, around no, the fire no, for no, the no, meat no, to no. get ready and then no, no, just no, dive no. into that. No, no. And then uh, while we're waiting, there's the, there's a story time, so they keep telling each other a story and having a conversation, which I think is really cool. And uh, it's really warm considering the weather is a little cold now in the evening. So yeah. Okay, you're welcome. Everybody keep popping out from the <laughs> with the bush, in the bush, yeah, in the darkness. Yeah, it's just like it's jumping up. Yeah, everybody keep popping out from the bush. And I'm like, wow. I'm going to try the liver for the first time. Oh, let's see how it goes. From them, man. The more they do, no, no. Oh, jumba. Do you want to be sema? Onu jamzo ke liya baba. Oh wow. Chindo mje muzako. I'm also trying. <laughs> <laughs> With my teeth when I can't even shoot. It has a very nice flavor. place to have a birthday. No. <laughs> That's a very good uh, way to have a birthday. With the music and everything. Masai, we live also by groups. We have the age group. We have Alayoni. Alayoni means uh, those young boys. The boys, those are not circumcised. Then we have a uh, uh, Murani. Murani means they, they already got circumcised. And you have uh, those are elders, which is called uh, Korianga. Those are elders. Then you have uh, our brothers, which we call Landis. And you have uh, our father, which we call Maka. So that, uh, as we have respect to those, uh, those are our brothers, and our, the bro our brothers, they have to respect our fathers. 
It's a beautiful experience. I would never forget this. I'm missing it right now talking to you guys about it. So the next thing that we did is to visit the Boma. Boma is basically the settlement of the Maasai people. So it's, it's almost like a mud houses, but a constellation of mud houses where they have their compound, uh, different families, sheep, goats around it. We're in the Maasai Boma. Mm -hmm. You see how Maasai we are living here. Mm -hmm. So that's the main gate. You see there, that's the main gate. You can see how the house are building by the women. Now that they are, it's old and they want to move from there to start another house. I learned a lot here. I was also offered blood. Today really we're going to drink the blood. Today I'm going to drink the blood. I was offered to drink blood, guys. Uh, yeah. I wish, I wish it wasn't blood, but it was, it was blood. Or maybe it wasn't. Uh, the owner of the village, yes. Yeah, this is the owner of the village. And also you can see the mosquito here. Yeah, ears is bigger. Yes. <laughs> Toka. He's Ketende. Very good friend. Yeah, and also you can see the ear is <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> Uh, this is the bound house. This is for how we used to get the the blood from the cow. We have different arrows, but this you see we just tighten here. Yeah, just say little. It's like milk, a little bit of milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very much. Very much. But it's better than I thought. Is it? Yeah. So yeah, it was a beautiful experience. I had fun there at the Boma. Got to meet some family members. I saw this beautiful old woman. Wow, her style. You can see her face. She's so pretty. I think she's more than 100 years, if I'm not mistaken. After that, we went for a game drive. I was literally looking for elephants and then giraffes. Now, when I got there, I was not so lucky, right? So I only saw one giraffe after going for the game drive. But normally, the giraffe will literally come on a compound and, you know, just walk around. And I was lucky. I saw elephants. Literally walking behind my lodge. This is my room. The elephant is literally walking around it, going to eat. This is a beautiful experience. And guys, this is so serene. Normally, I'm not a morning person, right? But when I got to this lodge... I woke up at six because there was so much pure oxygen that I, I felt like I didn't need any more sleep. Normally, I woke up at 11, right? A.M., yes, even if I sleep early, you know. But somehow, I, w I slept very late, probably like 12 p.m. and woke up at six. Felt so rejuvenated, enough energy for the rest of the day. This experience is an unforgettable one, and I urge you to go and experience the same thing. So one of the things you can experience while at the Tembo Lodge is called Maasai Day. Basically, you'd get a chance to, to go to a Maasai house, right? Go to the Aboma, see what they do from morning, 6 a.m. till late. You know, if they are cooking, you cook with them. And this can be arranged as, a, as an extra cost. I didn't have so much time, so I didn't do this. But I want you to do this anytime you visit the lodge it's a beautiful experience that you don't want to miss so on fridays anytime you visit the temple lodge on fridays they have a big market happening 
where you can go have an experience, go see where what they are selling at a local market. It's a whole experience that can be arranged for you. And then if you stay till Sunday, they have a whole church service by the Maasai people. You know, join them at the church, sing with them, you know, have fun. You know, live with the people like you belong there. You know, don't just go do the touristic stuff and just live. Make sure you, you vibe with the people. You live just like they live and uh, you will never forget this experience. So basically, this is my experience at Tembo Lodge. I can't wait to go back. Now, guys, stay tuned for my experience in Zanzibar because I was in Zanzibar. And uh, you guys have been waiting for that video. So it's coming soon. Stay tuned for the next upload. Hakuna matata, wageni wetu safi, hakuna matata.